My name is Sarah Lozano. My name is Linda Jimenez. And this is our Constitution. We're going to start with the preamble. It says, we the students of Rocky Newtek, in order to sustain a more exemplary academy, establish respect and share responsibility, embolden trust, provide for a secure environment, promote students' welfare, and preserve the dedication of our pillars. Duradine and establish this Constitution for the Rocky Newtek Academy. <laughs> Okay, so for our articles, it's going to be number three article. It's going to be the team norms, which each student will participate in a group contract. And it will be presented by their facilitators, and it's just going to be an easier way to contact every group member from the groups. Okay, article four is columnating products and presentations. When presenting, you need to demonstrate clear interpersonal communication with your audience and you will have to learn how to have con constant, eye t constant eye contact with the classroom and when the, pre when the presentation <laughs> is done you will have to do a peer feedback. Okay, so for the fifth article, it's going to be evaluations and feedback, which is when the project has launched, you will be given a project proposal and asked to explain the format to change to present it. Uh, in mid-project, you will have a critical friend section, which in critical friends, it is important to hear what the other group, what their other group wants to say, and then it is important because you can give the other group your opinions and feedback about their project. And this also goes for you, for your group's ideas. You will want to know what the other group, what the other group has to say. Oh, I touched it. Our community must be clean, safe, and friendly environment for all of our new tech building. When doing projects, try to include your community and help out. When outside of the campus, try to help out your community and it doesn't matter if no one notices. Okay, so for our Bill of Rights, our first amendment is you will have the you have the right to do like a different type of project. Not not be like think outside the box, it's not gonna be just or like when they say you need to do a presentation, you could do another one, but if they tell you only PowerPoints, then only do PowerPoints. Uh, amendment two is you have the right to feel safe and secure in your classroom. Okay, so for the amendment number three, it's gonna be no one should have the right to bring you down or like make you feel less worthy than everyone else. Amendment four is you have the right to speak your mind and your ideas to your group. And then at Amendment 5 is you will have the right to fire a group member if they misbehave or they don't do their work or they don't turn in their work. The end. <laughs>